Hello there, I'm Dr. Dr. Will Sticks, and today we'll be talking about groundhogs. Groundhog is the most common name, although other names include chuck, woodshock, ground pig, whistle pig, whistler, thickwood, badger, Canadian mormot, monix, monarch, westnuck, and red monk. But throughout this video, I will be referring to them as groundhogs. A groundhog is a rodent. On average, they're about 2 feet long and weigh 13 pounds. Groundhogs like to make their homes in open fields or forest edges, where they can make their burrows. Because of their small size, groundhogs have many anti-predator behaviors. Usually, they retreat into the safety of their burrow, where most predators are unable to get them. If they're ready to enter a fight, they do have sharp claws in the wild, Groundhogs can live up to 6 years, with an average lifespan of 2 to 3, but while in captivity, they have been reported to live up to 14 years. Predators of adult groundhogs include coyotes, badgers, bobcats, and foxes. Many of these predators are successful stealth stalkers, so that they can catch the groundhog by surprise before they're able to escape to their burrow. Groundhogs primarily eat wild grass and other vegetation including berries and agricultural crops if they are available. In early spring, dandelions are very important to a groundhog. Some additional foods include sheep shirl, timothy grass, buttercups, tear thumb, red and black raspberries, myrtle berries, buckwheat, plantain, wild lettuce, and all types of clovers and alfalfa. Groundhogs also occasionally eat grubs, grasshoppers, insects, snails, and other small animals. During the winter before hibernation, groundhogs are known to stuff themselves, although they are not known to drink water. Instead, the groundhog obtains water and liquid through the juices of the plants aided by the morning dew. Groundhogs are excellent burrows, using their burrows for sleeping, raising children, and hibernating. Groundhog burrows usually have two to five entrances. That way they can escape from predators. These burrows can pose a serious threat to agriculture and residential development by damaging farms and foundations. The burrow isn't just used to safely retreat. The burrow can include a room for hibernating, sleeping, a love nest, and nursery. In addition to the nest, there is an excrement chamber. The hibernation or nest chambers are usually lined with dead leaves and dried grass. The nest chambers may be about 20 inches to 3 feet below the surface. It is about 16 inches wide and 14 inches high. There is typically either two burrow entrances or a hole that leads to the main entrance that comes into this room. Hogs are one of the only species that enter true hibernation and often build separate winter burrows for this purpose. This burrow is usually in a woody or brush area and is dug below the first line of frost. In most areas, groundhogs hibernate from October to March, but in temperate areas, they may hibernate as little as three months. Groundhogs hibernate longer in northern latitudes than southern latitudes. To survive the winter, they are at their maximum weight shortly before entering hibernation. When a groundhog enters hibernation, there it drops its body temperature as low as 35 degrees Fahrenheit. The heart rate falls to 4 to 10 beats per minute, and breathing rates fall to 1 breath every 6 minutes. Hibernating groundhogs can lose as much as half their body weight by the time February emerges. Well, that's it for these goofy groundhogs. If you've ever had an encounter with them in your game, please tell me in the comments below. Yes, I made D&D Channel and just did a 4 minute video on groundhog, because it's Groundhog Day. Because we let groundhogs decide the weather for us. I gotta move.